I got this. Hey guys, it is Andy and James from Hon, and we are here answering some questions for music moments. Let's go. Okay. Okay. What was the soundtrack to your first heartbreak? Um, the soundtrack to my first heartbreak was, I think, I've only, I'm lucky, I've only had one heartbreak. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it was when James said he was in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a few years ago uh, before I met my now wife. But yeah, um, I uh, broke up with someone and it was around the time that Maccabees released their, oh gosh, I think it was probably their second album. Um, it was the one with like toothpaste kisses on and stuff like that. Um, so it was your heartbreak album. It was my heartbreak album, but strangely enough, it was also the album that I listened to when I started going out with my now wife. So it's like, it was oh. a transitional. So it went from a, like a, maybe a bit of a negative, but now it has like positive connotations for you. Exactly. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so next question me? please. What do you listen to? When you're happy? Um, when I am happy, which is most of the time, I listen to um, recently, particularly in summer, I, I know it's not summer now, but when it starts, you know, you get a little bit Creeping. of spring. It's coming. Um, Bomber Bicycle Club. Nice. Just so many, like I've got so many good memories of like living with that mate, yourself included. Um, or being on holiday and like someone putting one of their albums on and yeah, I can listen to every song. It's all quite like upbeat, uplifting. Yeah, it's good, yeah, it's good. It's the mood up. Um, okay, what about when you're sad? When you're sad, what do you listen to? Uh, when I'm sad, I think I gravitate to Bon Iver. Um, Just to make sure you really yeah, just push yourself to, deeper yeah, into yeah. sadness. Yeah. yeah, don't want anything that can bring me back. <laughs> um, I'm definitely the same. But yeah, it's quite, it's thought provoking music. It's great for like pretending you're in a film and you're looking out a car window and being all sad and moody <laughs> and just having that on. That's true. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know if there's any songs in particular, but uh, maybe. I really like Restacks. Yeah. Top part stacks. That's good. That's a sad one. I like, like um, um I like uh it cool. might be over soon. It's called like twenty oh. it's the first song from Million <laughs> Two Two I can't remember this I never see any names because I've just listened to that. It's an album, so I just listen all yeah. to them. Yeah, my, or I think it's called Over Soon, but it's got like weird language. Um, yeah, it might be Over Soon. There you go. There you go. Um, when you're working out, what do you listen to? Okay, um, we've discussed this. I think we both listen to um, Bicep, a song called Glue. If that can't get you going through the workout, then there's no hope. What does your workout consist of? Can we see right now? I'd like to see the guns. No, I don't, I might break the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm actually following Joe Wick's plan at the moment. Just trying to get fit, ready for tour, you know? Get um, get the stamina up. Yeah, and I'm spinning. So this is, these aren't the questions you asked, but we're <laughs> telling you. How do you work out? Okay, um, what's your dance floor anthem? My dance floor anthem is, it's not a dance music song, I'm afraid. Um, it is uh, Curtis Mayfield, Move On Up. Yeah. It's just a classic. 100. As soon as you hear that intro, um, you just want to get on there and sort of move your body around. Yeah. Um, that's all there is to say about that. Yes. And finally, What's your guilty pleasure? Um, so we've talked about this too, and it's the same for both of us. Um, but we grew up as kids in the 90s. <clears throat> um, so it's kind of, 
anything that takes us back to those early, early days from Spice Girls, Eiffel 65, Venga Boys, Billy Piper, what else we got? Aqua. Aqua. Um, Just incredible pop music. ATB. Oh yeah, is that 9? 9 yeah, so like yeah. Classic. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so any of that stuff, that good old stuff. Yeah. Although what about, then there was also like the period just after, which is like, Papa Roach. Oh, that was Park, good. That was good. Yeah, that was good stuff. Yeah, that was really good. Anything on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3? Mill and Colin. Yeah. Wow. Um, no cigar. Dead Kennedy. Yeah. Um, anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for Peace out. letting us talk to you about that. We'll see you soon. We love you. Goodbye. So Bye.